What's up guys? Today we got a great video for y'all. We're back in Nashville, Tennessee. Tech's Choice, Matt Sledge. You know Matt's got some cool stuff. He's always got some good deals and some different tools that you normally don't see. So this is gonna be a great one. You guys, come on. All right guys, so we're on Matt Sledge's truck. I know you guys have seen this truck before in one video, but we normally shoot on Drew's truck, but Matt decided he's gonna show you guys what a real tool truck looks like today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, hey, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be here and uh, it's awesome, Clay. Thank you so much for coming down here. That's, uh, that's great, we're, uh, we've been busy. We've been real busy, and if a lot of you guys watch this stuff, you probably even may have heard of a thing called TikTok. And uh, we got on TikTok, and all that's uh, due to this guy. Okay. So let me introduce somebody. This is Connor Jordan, and uh, Connor Jordan came on to work for me. Uh, when September 16th was my first day. Oh, he's got his day figured out. So yeah. he came on September 16th as an assistant, and uh, Connor was riding around with me, and we were doing the tool business, and I just needed him because my knees are getting tired, Clay. Well, you're getting old. I'm tired of, yeah, getting I'm getting old, old dude. You see this gray here? <laughs> tired of walking in and out of this truck, man. So I was thinking, man, I could use this assistant guy. He can run in and out of that door, run up and down those steps, go deliver receipts, help me straighten the truck, organize the truck. Just needed an assistant. And if you tool truck guys are watching this and you don't believe in an assistant, believe me, it's worth it. Mine paid off a little better. So Drew, I mean, so uh, Connor here was with me for like two days on the truck, Clay two days on the truck and Connor said, he said, uh, hey man, uh, you know what you need to do? And I said, okay. And I'm a little cocky about it. I said, what, what do I need to do, Connor? What are you gonna tell me that I need to do in the tool business that I've been doing for 20 something, you know, 20 plus years? He said, you need to get on TikTok. And I said, bro, no. I said, you're crazy. I mean, we ain't getting on TikTok, man. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's for little girls dancing in front of closets. <laughs> and uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not doing that. That's always something else. And then he said, well, hey, uh, do you care if I try it? I said, well, knock yourself out, man. Whatever you want to do, man. You know, you work for me, so now you're free to do whatever you want, you know? And if you think you got some kind of angle, let's try it. So Connor started a TikTok and we started Text Choice and it took off. And I had a little bet with my daughter because my daughter had 5,000 likes on her TikTok and we were like at 190 or something yeah. one weekend. We were at the boat and uh, we said, uh, well, shoot, uh, let's see where we can get. And before the weekend, we had 5,000 people on there. And wow. uh, yeah, it's, it was crazy, Clay. So 5,000 people turned into uh, TikTok stardom, I guess. And then we said, well, sh you know, let's put a promotion out there. So we put a promotion out there and then it took off from there. And then that became, you know, a big thing. And then we created like this monster and we we're like, oh my God, like, I don't know how we're going to control this because I've just been a tool guy, you know, a good tool guy, a good route tool guy for 20 something years. And we created this uh, monster now and we're still trying to figure out how to tame it. And now what have we done, Connor? We made a website. Made a website. We made a website. We're starting up on Instagram. We just hit 10K. Just hit um, 10,000 yesterday. Yesterday. TikTok's going up, posting on there all the time. So if you don't know. We're on TikTok, text choice, Instagram, text choice. And we've been thinking about going to YouTube, Clay. Do you, said, do you, do you advise it? Man, whatever makes you happy. Like, it is what it is. I'm going to say no because I think the time takes too long. Well, here's it, what I want to do. Like, I know, like, this is, I know you guys probably think we script our videos, but I seriously just turned the camera on. When no, we he did. He literally did just turn it and, on. And Matt stuck his, his, uh, the mic on. So you guys can see how freshly pressed Matt's shirt is, right? Like it's all perfect and clean. And This is not for the video, guys. I roll this way every day. All right, so this is what I want to do, okay? Let's let's see if you're willing to accept a challenge. You know, TikTok's big on challenges, right? Yeah. yeah. Like everybody likes the TikTok challenge. What if we get 100 people to go to your next TikTok that you drop? 100? No, how about like hold a on, thousand? wait, listen, let, okay. let me finish. <laughs> I, it's a challenge, okay? It's a challenge, okay. If we can get a hundred people to comment at Coon Trucking sent me, will you chug a beer like Luke Combs, like poke a hole in the oh. bottom of it and oh, chug the whole, it? the whole team will. 
The whole team. The whole on, team on a TikTok video. I don't know about Drew. Drew really doesn't like beer. Drew's kind of like a pansy kind of guy. He likes those fruity drinks. Well, he might just have to take Maybe like a white, team. Like a white claw. Like, I'm He'll making a bet. Like, and he up, Connor up the game. He said the whole team will do it. Oh, so this, guy, this guy's a beer chugger. So okay. if we do the next TikTok, I'll, I'll do a TikTok with you. Okay, yeah. And then if we can get 100 people to comment at Coon right. Chuck and sent me, your whole team will stand in front of the camera on a TikTok video, poke a hole in the bottom of a beer, like Luke Combs and chug that joker. Yeah. All right. I'm in, man. I mean, if you guys are on my page, or actually you're going to be watching this on Coon's page, if you want to go to Coon Trucking and slip over to TikTok, we could do some cross marketing here. You can jump on Text Choice Tools on TikTok and find us on Instagram. I mean, for God's sakes, what are we giving away this weekend, Connor? Giving away a 50 inch TV. 50 inch, 4K, 4K TV. You got any there other go. tool guys giving away a 4K TV, Clay? No, no. Most of them just give away um, hard penises and bubble gum. They're yep. all out of bubble gum, yeah, right? Yeah, we're all out of bubble gum, man. <laughs> we're all out of bubble gum. We do give away t-shirts, we give away hats, we give away, eh, we did give away hoodies. I'm gonna back up on that because the hoodie giveaway was super expensive. I mean, I spent $4,600 this year on shirts, 700, 750 shirts, 225 hoodies. The that reason why for, I want to make the beer sale. chugging bet, because I know you're going to spill beer on your shirt, and I think everybody wants to see that. So. I mean, I got a twisted tea in here yeah. right now, this very <laughs> second, because we're going to drink some beer tonight, right, Clay? Yeah, yeah. I heard you guys, y'all needed to go to beer school, so y'all called me up here to teach y'all how to drink beer tonight. Well, you're a little bigger so. than me, Clay, so I think you've got a little bit more experience oh. in it. I do I've drink. always heard that crap my whole life. I do drink, but I'm kind of a size ain't got nothing to do with it. You just it has to do with popping the top, holding it to your mouth. That's hey, all you got. Oh, Don't let yeah, off the no, gas. I'm not much on holding anything. anything. <laughs> Golly, I hope you edit that out. That's that's terrible. Well, hey, let, enough to bore you guys about TikTok. I know you just got on here and you're just watching and stuff. And uh, hey, can Let's we talk, talk about a couple? Tools. Can we talk yeah. about some promotions, man? Let's show some cool. Connor, tools. tell them about what we got going on with uh, with the right angle drill and now the Connor don't have a mic on and so the rotary we're gonna have to tool. Get close here. to you. All right, so we're doing this deal right here: the right angle drill, bare tool only, okay. eighty nine dollars on 89. our website. On our website, and then you're doing the rotary tool, bare tool only for sixty nine dollars on okay. our website. Sixty nine. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. Who keeps a quarter inch rivet tool in your truck here clay i do want to point out something else too clay uh we are a seller of boots i guess i'll use the word also and uh these are the battery cover boots for the 12 volt tools that are really super nice man so one they keep your battery really really clean but the most important thing that they do when you drop it they don't bust no they protect that serial number right there guys listen if you're a mechanic out here and you're watching this video that serial number and this serial number are the two one are the number one most important thing on your tool. So guys ask me all the time if I buy Milwaukee tools from you and they have a five year warranty, are they warrantied somewhere else? And the answer is yes, because every tool how 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 good is the zoom on your camera there, Clay? Serial number. So this is a 21, so if you ever want to read what your serial number is, this is a 21 model tool in the 10th week. So Milwaukee built this in the 2021, in the 10th week of the year. So if you buy a tool from us and you protect that serial number and you go on down the road, that's the first thing Milwaukee's going to look at. And check out the boot cover for the 12.0 mm -hmm. for, the, for the 12 volt battery. Super, super, super nice. So we sell these too. They're listed on the website. So let me talk about another promotion. Have you seen this tool? I've seen it on your Instagram, I yeah. think it was. So this is what they call the light bar, the modular light bar. This is made, and I'm not gonna shoot it in your face, but this is made uh, for mechanics that has a magnet. Let's do this. You can put a magnet here, or you could do the magnet this way. And you can tell the magnet's pretty strong on this right. thing. What did we list these for, Connor? $175? Uh, I think they were right around there, yeah. 174 you can use it as a light bar. You can tell how bright it is. But the coolest thing about it is you can pull these pods out, mm -hmm. and they're magnetic. And you can have lights going everywhere all around the whole, all around the whole vehicle. And uh, the coolest thing, too, I know I said that about three times, these have a red halo in them. So a red halo, when it's about to run out of battery life, it turns red, it knows it needs to be charged. You know you're supposed to take it and put it back into its charging base and charge it back up. And guess what? When they are charged, they turn green. 
So guys, this is an awesome light. It is expensive. It's $179, but you can use it as an underhood light. You could be a redneck and stick it on the front of your car, go cruise the town at night. Hopefully, it's got a really strong magnet on it. So is that, does that, you, it has to be plugged into here, or is this kind of like a yeah, ear to, pods or something when you, you plug, plug it, it in, in the right base, here. it charges off? Oh, there so it is. this is the charging base. Okay. This is the charging base. Most of the guys leave it on their toolbox like that. Right. They use them individually. They do all that type stuff. Uh, we sold our green tire gauge, but if some of you guys are into these gauges right here and you bought mm -hmm. them from your other tool guy, and I did a video on my TikTok, but I get some of you well, guys- Well, everybody likes the green ones just because of the chuck. They do, yep. but I want to mention something about that too. So guys couldn't find the chuck. Guys couldn't find the chuck. Well, guess what? We found the chuck. So this is the chuck. This is the chuck that fits right onto the end of your valve stem. You take it, just press it on guys. Mm. No more push button deal. Uh, press it right on. Uh, we have the part number. They're listed on our webpage and I think they're $25. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. $25. $20, so instead of spending 89 bucks on a new air gauge they can do you want to upgrade it buy yeah the chuck buy the chuck man upgrade. i think it's made by milton honestly is who it's made by a little cool tool kind of different uh this is new to the truck i think isn sells these this is a wireless charging base mm -hmm. so you can charge your phone and a flashlight at the same time okay. anything that you see that has this little uh wireless this charging little, symbol mm -hmm, you take that pop it right on there it's going to charge wirelessly these bases are about fifty dollars Okay. Uh, they're listed too. You can get those on the web page. We got a crazy, crazy, crazy cool promotion. We sort of put this one right here together. We had a lot of our stuff left over that we bought during Christmas. This is the uh, Milwaukee with the interchangeable battery headlamp. Okay, so this is not one you just got to plug in. If the headlamp's dead, you can change the battery out, put a new one in, and keep on going. And this is the 1100 uh, flashlight. This is a nice flashlight. 1100 lumens. 1100 lumens. Yep. You saw this flashlight mm -hmm. the other day, yeah, right? Yeah, it was bright. It's pretty, pretty bad. I actually played with it in Matt's garage yeah. while I was waiting on Matt today. Right. It's, it's bright. You got another little floodlight, a little pocket light, light bar, and one of these neck gaiters for all the guys up north that have to wear a face mask, and you get a Milwaukee hat, all of that. The whole package, $199. Okay. $199. So, um, have you seen the Milwaukee vacuum cleaner? Mm -mm. You hadn't seen that? No. So, guys, listen. We... <laughs> We sell tools to guys all the time and they're constantly looking for something new. Well, this is the Milwaukee vacuum cleaner. Looks like I'm going to turn this right here up this way. A sideways mounted leaf blower. The best part about this thing is it's like a Dyson because it actually has the little turner in it. Yeah. How many people have we sold these to, to that said that they wanted to buy one for their wife? Uh, almost every customer has bought one. I mean, that's racist as hell because I actually like to vacuum clean, run it's the vacuum clean. It's not clean. racist, it's sexist. Sexist. I think it's, I call it racist. <laughs> I call it racist, but the Milwaukee vacuum is a fantastic tool. It's been out for a while. It's nothing brand new, but I just never thought I'd sell them, Clay. Like, I never thought I'd sell a tool Milwaukee. Tool selling a vacuum. Never thought I'd sell a Milwaukee vacuum cleaner or a weed eater on a tool truck, you know. So here we are, we're selling weed eaters, we're selling vacuum cleaners. Milwaukee has a brand new lawnmower, but I did get some brand new news from Milwaukee direct. Milwaukee, you need to go get a Milwaukee one inch drive impact gun. Oh. We need, uh, I got some news from Milwaukee that they will not be selling the lawnmower in the automotive division. So I'm super disappointed about that. They're running low on their chips. I think uh, the main squeeze from Milwaukee, his name's Glenn. He called me and he said, hey man, you need to take that off your Instagram because it takes like 180 something microchips to build that Holy to build cow. that deal. In order for that thing to run, they're already running low on microchips. That's the reason we're being squeezed down on some of the Milwaukee that we're getting. And we knew this thing was coming uh, between January and March sometime. And here we are right there, right at the end of January. So. Uh, well, I want to talk about something because I've already made a, a list and, and I'm buying stuff from Matt. And this is one of them right here. And I know it's not like a new tool, but it's the first time I've actually seen one really? to play with it. So I have one of these on the houseboat, Clay, and I use this thing because the story is that I've heard Milwaukee and Streamlight partnered on this thing. The cone on the end of this is so deep that it makes the light go so far. It right. said, what did it say on the package? 700 Se yards. 700 yards. So my spotlight is broke on the top of the houseboat. So I use one of these. If I'm coming in or I want to see the mountains, I can use this dude to go any which way I want to. And 
my neighbor bought one, my farmers, all of my guys, they all buy this light. And I think this light's like a hundred bucks, man. I can sell it to you. It's posted on the website too. So, so I picked one of those out and I also picked a heat gun out because I've got this electrical job that I'm doing on this old truck. And uh, so Matt, it's like, hey, I've got them in stock. Oh yeah. So, I think this one's 900 degrees. The one that you get, mm -hmm. I mean, it's hot enough to uh, melt heat shrink. That's what I'm um, looking for. Not going to be great if you're a decal remover. If you're going to be somebody that's going to buy that to remove decals, but we had the other heat gun right yeah. here in stock. I'd rather, if I was doing for a long in, time, I'd rather have into a, a cord. you know plug cord anyway. Yeah, but I'm wanting it just for heat shrink. Right. So. Let me point this out too. This is a monster. So you tool guys that don't have one of these on a truck, you have a 27 on one side, a 30 on the other. Okay. Two different uses. The Buick GMC Tahoes and all that guy, they want the 27 for the alignment now. Mm -hmm. The alignment on the new, I think it's 2017 and newer, you have to have the 27 to do an alignment, makes it extremely easy. This side is on a Dodge 3500 and up on the trucks. Is Drew here? 3500 and up, this is the caliper bolt. The caliper is right next to the leaf spring, okay? Mm -hmm. So the caliper is so close that you can't get in there to get an impact gun into it because you hit the leaf spring. Well, the length with this dude, you can get on there on a the caliper and break that Track bolt loose, loose and keep it going, speed your job up, make things a lot easier. Before that wrench came out, I had a lot of guys using what I call the, the Mexican wrench, which is, uh, you know, the Alabama wrench. That's what I used to call yeah, it, the, the Alabama wrench. We call it a Mississippi metric. Mississippi metric, yep. yeah. It's metric on one side, standard on the That's other, it. right? That's yeah. It. The crescent wrench. For y'all that don't know, it's a crescent yeah, wrench. Yeah, it is a crescent wrench. So let me stop you, because I know you get going really fast. I like, do. I like Matt's to Matt's like a dragster. Like, he tires right. out and he don't slow down until he runs out of gas. We've showed these, and last time you wouldn't sell me these because you was out of them. Yep, they're in stock. So we're in stock. They're posted on the web page. Great. So these are rope ratchets. Let's talk about them because not everybody may have seen the older videos. Okay. So the rope ratchets, the most, this, I, I did this on a whelm and I had a guy order them and I said, man, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep that on my truck. You know, that's a piece of junk really what I thought it was, but the guy wanted to have it to hang it onto the shock tower, to hook it to the caliper, to pull his caliper all the way up. So it would hang. We sell caliper hangers too. But the most vers this is the most versatile, hands-free, twelve dollar ninety-nine cent job. Show everybody how job. that works again. Let me so you can pull that up, and then it's got a little lever right here. You flip that, and it comes. It comes undone. These hold up to a hundred and fifty pounds of weight. I think I called it foot pounds on your last video, which was horrible. Well, I don't know what you mean. Horrible, but a lot of guys use them for hooking them around radiators. Pull the radiator back so if you're changing a fan clutch or something you can get to it uh, a lot of my dent repair guys use it for hanging underneath the car they'll put the headliner on it mm -hmm. uh, i have guys buy these that just want to tie up their cattle their kayaks you know they throw yeah. them on top they work better than any kind of bungee cord that you can imagine and actually clay i sell the shit out of them well man. listen before we get move past that i need two of the little ones and right two of the bigger ones okay so. they come in 150 pounds of weight Mm -hmm. 250 pounds of weight, and then we got the monster inside that holds 500. Yeah, I want so, the two of the the same the ones you got there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then we got two them. of the the, the blue we, ones. We got them, and they're posted on the uh, on the web page. Like every time I come up here to see Matt, I spend a whole bunch of money. Like my whole paycheck stays with Matt every single time I come up here. Well, I'm just glad you buy more tools from me than you do Joe. <laughs> Joe's a really, really nice guy, and he does a cash bucket giveaway or something because yeah. I've stalked you a little bit. I've watched some of your videos. Well, you look, everybody buys tools for one, two reasons, right? You buy tools for two reasons. Yeah. You need it or you want it. Right. Okay, so if you don't actually need it, that goes to the want side. Right. And the want has two options. My wife's going to get mad or I'm found it at a bargain, <laughs> right? So if you come to Matt Sledge's tool truck, you can always stay on the want side and it's always a good deal. Open it so, up. There you go. Yeah. So uh, what about this, Clay? Oh yeah. The Knee Pros, Knee Pros Ratchet, mm -hmm. made in Japan, right? That's it. So I got these from Mobile Tool Network and uh, super, super smooth ratchet. These things are really expensive online, guys. And uh, that ratchet I, is 120 bucks, I believe. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 120 bucks online. I fought for a deal, tried to get them as cheap as I can, but I just don't know 
if you guys can feel the quality of this because if you ever want to step out of the box and try something that's a little bit better this uh this nepro's ratchet is extremely nice the the head is just so smooth it's got a really super comfortable grip do i sell other ratchets yes i do but this one thing comes in some great packaging uh it's got a great little package here if you ever want to give something to somebody for a gift something mm -hmm. that they don't have this would be a perfect uh, deal it's made in japan do we like made in the usa yes we do but uh the stuff that I have bought out of Japan, I want to say has been super, super, super nice. So what's the price on that? Clay, I'm going to sell them for $99 online. To my guys on the route, I'll sell them for 120 bucks. Guys, there's different money if you're paying, uh, if you're paying. Well, pay you're, you're carrying the finance yeah, charge. Yeah, if you're carrying the tools. note, you're carrying the note, it's going to cost you a little bit. But if you want it, if you want it, they're posted. Uh, we're going to post them on the webpage. If you want one of these, you want to jump out of the box, you won't be disappointed. I'll make you a guarantee. If I sell it to you and you're unhappy with it, send it back to me. Mm -hmm. When I get it, I'll get you 100% credit. Well, let me let me throw this out there, okay? I know Drew was a tech, and we, yeah. hadn't, we hadn't seen Drew on everybody the video. Everybody welcome Drew to, everybody welcome Drew. Drew to the track. Now, remember, Drew don't have a mic on, so you have to get close to him. All right, Drew, right, so right. you was a tech. Yeah. And Something you worked like in a shop, and who is the king of ratchets out of all the tool trucks? Who is the king of the tool truck ratchets? Snap on. Snap on. Oh, boo. No, no, this is a valid but... point. Now, honestly, be honest here, because you ain't hurt nobody's feelings. He's not even us, seen that yet. None of no. us own Nepro stock, okay? It, so, how does that feel compared to a snap on? The weight feels good, like a snap on. The machine Can we good. put a cheater bar on? That's all that matters. It feels nice, man. Yeah. Is it as smooth as a snap on? Yeah. It's definitely as smooth yeah. as a snap on. What's it's, this guy down here? Just the grip? Yeah, it's just, it's a, just grip. a grip. That's nice, man. Yeah. I hate to plug. Uh, textile and, yeah. So, There's a lot of input That's there, Drew's right? first time to actually feel a Nepros ratchet. So. That's, pr that's probably how Dr good. Drew sells more than me because he just don't talk. And I talk right. the whole time. <laughs> Drew, Drew just tells people, come in the truck. And then he just gets quiet. Awesome yeah. But let me plug this here. And I hate to yep. throw cross-reference now, 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 let me throw another little thing out here now that you hold that. My favorite ratchet is, you know, the gear wrench style, Matco style, right. with that kind of lock. Because it's not in the way. It's not a goofy looking hump on the back of it you know like that's a good yeah. locking flex head ratchet right right there well we just so happen to have one in stock they are on back order absolutely everywhere we are having problems with gear wrench like no end on trying to fulfill orders i mean we couldn't get a quarter inch socket set mm -hmm. master socket set for like two months so if your other tool man guys are watching this i guarantee you're having the same problems how did i get one before you I don't know, I got connections. But the uh, this is the 90 tooth locking 24, 24 inch uh, ratchet with the soft grip. Yep. Super, super nice. Here's the part number, 81372T, 81372T. Are you guys gonna buy it from me? Probably not. Would I encourage you to buy it from me? Yes and no. Buy it from your local tool guy, okay? If you got the tool guy that shows up at your shop every day and he's servicing you, get that ratchet from him. We'd love to sell you some tools. There's no doubt about that. But I was on the other side of the fence too. And I know what it's like to have somebody constantly battling about price and service. If I show up with my tool truck, I want you to buy tools from me. So if you guys are watching this and you got a good tool guy and he's taking care of you, now if he's a dick, there's a different story. Yeah. But if the, good, if the guy's good and he's taking care of you, buy and you see me. something That's on right. here that you like, Call him out. Tell him that he needs to carry it. Now, so, then hold in this massive, massive impact up there. So, so we've got to show this yeah. big thing. We were one of the first to market to get this clay. I actually paid a guy to drive from Murfreesboro to Franklin to go get this thing so that we could be the first to market with this thing. So this is the Milwaukee Extended Anvil, okay? They had a problem with these. They were breaking on the nose cone, and they recalled them. A few of them got out in the field. But this has got 2,000 foot-pounds of torque. It's for doing wheel lug sockets. It sounds like it doesn't have a lot of balls, but guys, this thing will twist your arm off. Uh, one of the it coolest- It looks like it would have to take yeah. somebody that works out all the time like Drew to tote it around. Drew I'm does just gonna work be out honest a lot. with you. Yeah, Drew works out a lot, but he's young and he- Now, he, Drew's got swole up since the last video. I don't know if y'all oh, noticed no, this yeah. now. 
Drew's swolled up, but I found out from Matt earlier when we was in the shop in there. When Drew first started working for Matt, oh, okay. he was a medium. A medium, yeah. Well, a he medium. was a medium, but he, yeah, he was a large, but he wanted medium shirts. <laughs> and and I have a jacket inside that has Drew's name on it that says it says no says, so, it, says that he's a large. So are you selling these online? I am selling these online, monster? guys. Let me let me plug this right here real quick. This thing comes with two, right? Two. 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 Okay, two. guys, look on the internet. Try to price these batteries. Go to Home Depot. Go to cpo outlets go to ebay go wherever you want to this battery is 260 dollars. there ain't no doubt about it i have looked myself so it comes with two of these batteries so that's 530 bucks or 540 dollars just in batteries okay so the bare tool on this thing is 799 dollars. i have eight of them inside that garage right now ready to ship i have about four of these full kits um this is a popular tool. I'm shipping them every single day. So, so how much is the bare tool? Bare tool, seven ninety nine. How much is the kit? Kit, thirteen fifty. Thirteen fifty. And well, here's the deal, Clay. If they buy it from me and I ship it out of state, until I get caught by my tax lady, because she's already kind of caught me a little bit, I'm not charging any shipping. I'm not charging any tax. So if you do buy this from your local tool guy, our tax in Tennessee is ten percent. You're gonna pay another hundred and thirty dollars for it. Does uh, that come with a bottle of ibuprofen for a backache? Yeah. <laughs> it comes with a gift man. certificate to the Chinese Holy massage cow. place. So, but the best play, the best thing about this, and one of my favorite deals, is like if you're running a service truck and you do pop the D-ring out and you want to put this in your toolbox, you can unscrew this dude far enough, put that down, and it becomes pretty slim. Yeah. Ingersoll Rand makes one. It's got a battery here and a battery here, but it's just a little bit wide. I'm not hating on Ingersoll Rand. I think they make some great tools. I'm a heavy Milwaukee supporter. This has a five-year warranty on it, and it's also one key. Do you know what one key is, Clay? Yeah, the Bluetooth. So it traces itself. Yeah. If it gets within eight foot of a Wi-Fi device, you can keep up with it. With a tool that costs this much money, you definitely want to keep your hands uh, uh, keep your hands on it. Actually, one thing I learned about one key is this say you have a location like at your facility, you can set this tool up to like a 500 foot radius of when a geo, it leaves, geo fence. It sends you a message. If it leaves, yep. it sends you a message and yep. tells you about it. So guys, don't be scared to spend the money. I know it's expensive, put it in your shop, get the one key, get the app, download it. If somebody walks off with it, you'll know that you're gonna get it back. Are These were here? a big hitter. I move real fast. These were a big hitter on mm -hmm. my truck uh, last time you did the video. Yep. They were out of stock right after the video. Everybody that and the throttle depressor. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody wanted the throttle depressor. Everybody wanted the throttle depressor and they wanted the funnel buddy. Yeah. Because the funnel buddy's been on back order. This has been on back order. Everything's been on back order, but now it's off and it's ready to go. So, so actually, how much is the how much is the solder and these holder? are seventy dollars, man. But you see that right there, it's made in the United States. Yep. This is actually Oschenmacher, which is a German type company, but mm -hmm. they're that they, but guys if you do a lot of soldering uh, if you do a lot of soldering, this thing will save your life. You pop your little, uh, pop your little wire in there, hands free. Run your solder and your solder and iron. All right, here's where I'm going to hurt some feelings. Let's do it. Here's where we're going to hurt some feelings. Okay. Now I, I know bought. What you're going to bring up. I bought the Matco version yep. of this. Okay, mm -hmm. which is made by Lyle. Mm -hmm. So since we did the video, this is a good time, I think, to yep. to bring this up. I'm friends with a lot of tool dealers. Like I know you are. A lot of tool guys, and most of them are Matco and Snap-on and Mac. Mm -hmm. Very few Cornwall guys. I think they're just rare. Right. You know, right. Just rare, rare breed of guys. Small group. I used to be one. So a lot of them watched the video where you talked about becoming an independent tool dealer, and I said one thing. This is because the main question they would ask is, I want to leave the franchise, but I'm scared to step out on the limb. So Guys, I don't want to cover that topic in this video. I want to do another video. Another video. And let's discuss that because that'll be a good thing for those guys. But I know a lot of them watch my videos, especially right. your videos, because they, they learn new shit to buy. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah. the yeah. new thing is what sales, right? Right, right. So I'll just be happy keep to talk that about it. topic in your brain right. for that. But like one of the things I tell them is guys buy tools from their tool dealer because they believe in that guy. They know they're going to take care of them. So for all the other guys that's watching this video that don't care about the tool dealer talk that we're gonna do, one of the things I like to point out is how many things on this truck 
can both of y'all find that's being rebranded by one of the big three? Hundreds. Yeah. Hundreds. Let's just talk about a couple of them. Of this truck, at least. Oh man, you mean you you? I mean, obviously not Milwaukee, but uh, let's just talk about this area right yeah. here. This is a Any, prime example. It, anything that is a Lyle wall. product, you're going to find on a Snap-on truck, mm -hmm. a Maco truck, a Cornwell truck even a Mack truck, but here's the difference. Same product, different label. Yep. So same product, it's gonna say Cornwell hose pinch off tool. This is a universal spring clamp tool. It's gonna say Cornwell on it. Um, this guy right here. This, this guy right here, yep. you'll find this on the Matco truck. KTI. Now K I'm not bashing. No. First of all, let I'm, me, I'm let not, me. I'm let not me bashing I'm either. not bashing the tool truck brands, okay? Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, guys, the general public know that all right. the stuff that they're selling pretty much is rebranded because well, channels just... like me have kind of brought the light to the you know of the, the deal but you well, know if if you go. got a good tool dealer buy it from him but if you if you don't got a good tool dealer push that dude aside and save the money and yeah. buy it yeah, are... here we go right here by the original makers so mayhew came out with these and Mayhew had these, Mueller, Mueller, I'm sorry, Mueller, Mueller yeah. not Mayhew, Mueller. Mueller came out with these. We're like, we're the only ones that have them. Mm -hmm. We're the only ones that have them. There's nobody else. They were $100, Clay. This exact same set right here, this was $100 from uh, Mueller. CTA, which is called Horizon Tool, came out with this. Calvan. Calvan, yeah. Calvan, Horizon, they're all owned by the same people. It's this Calvan right here mm -hmm. on it, but that's owned by Horizon. So anyway, uh, same tool half the price dude forty nine dollars for this thing right here and guys if you're struggling on the fence whether you think you can make it or not you got to be a smart tool guy and you gotta you gotta dig in deep nobody's just gonna pave this road for you and tell you where to go buy all this stuff if you care about your job you're gonna have to dig like i do i go inside at night i'm looking through books i'm looking on the internet i'm looking through this i'm looking through that i'm trying to find out who makes it you know, uh, your neck light is uh, yep. carried on a lot of the other tr uh, tool trucks and it says Cornwell or whatever. Uh, all well, Easy Red makes them all. Yeah, Easy yeah. Red makes them all. Luke. Hey guys, I, I personally have a pair of mm -hmm. Mac ones that I bought probably 12 years ago, but Tool Aid makes them. That's okay. Them make, identical. And these things are awesome. Mm -hmm. Little wire strippers. Yeah, the. I bought a pair of Nipex because they was like, a really nice set you know and, yeah. and yeah. i figured if nipex made them they'd be yeah, good you know right. but so if you're struggling with trying to decide if you can make it or not here's here's one thing here's the most important most important point about this whole deal text choice don't make anything we make hoodies shirts and stickers and and pocket screwdrivers if y'all start a toolbox line y'all can be matco just like matco all of the tool truck all this stuff that you see in this tool truck and clay if you want to pan around for a minute yeah text choice doesn't make any of this stuff this is all the manufacturers guys this is atd this is uh kti i mean we're talking about a 29 dollar uh tire plug kit you know mm -hmm. uh you guys may have one on your cornwall truck and it's probably 89 dollars. so if you think about who you or who your competition is going to be and who you can compete against uh, I didn't make any of this stuff. This is all carried through warehouse distributors. You can buy it from Mobile Tool Network. You can buy it from Integrated Supply Network, Medco, M Eagle Warehouse, whichever one you want to buy it from. You know, so a uh, lot of good stuff. Yes, Gear Wrench is is a pretty strong name, and they've they've taken their Gear Wrench ratchet wrench, and they've ran with it. And now they make axle nut sockets and. Uh, uh, O2 sensor removers. This this business is a lot of rebranding, and you guys that say I only buy Snap-on, and Snap-on's the mm -hmm. biggest one that I like to pick on because these guys walk around with their shirt like I buy Snap-on, and I tell them all the time. Do you know how much more you could buy for yourself? Well, we but brought that out yesterday because my Snap-on dealer sells the Snap-on spring tool punch set right, right right and he actually ordered a spring tool brand and when we opened the package it was yeah. all on video it wasn't scripted or anything really? they was stamped snap on right so somebody at the factory messed up and put them in the wrong thing you know yeah. and, and that just goes to show you you know and he's like i can sell you the snap on brand and they're this much or i can sell you these and they're about half price right 
I love it when those guys tell me that they only buy Snap-on or they only buy Maco or they only buy this or they only buy that. It's all about the service. I mean, if you've got a real shitty tool guy, uh, I wouldn't buy much from them either. You yeah, know? that's but what I'm just saying. Really like good, if you've got a good tool, you guy, got a good tool guy, buy the tools from him. Buy the tools from that guy. Now, if I mean, you got a shitty tool dealer, man, there's plenty of Google will yeah. hook you smooth up right. with the maker right. of the tools. Like, right. Because honestly... I've had a shitty tool guy and it sucks. Yeah. And I was happy to see him go. Right. So. Well, from your video, I had a lot of people wanting to know if I would come to Mississippi, would I come to Michigan, would I come here, would I come there? Let me get it straight. We're in Middle Tennessee. We are on the internet, but we're in Middle Tennessee. We run Murfreesboro, Franklin, Smyrna, and Laverne. Outside of that, I love you guys, but check it out. We're not starting a truck and. We're not starting a truck in Michigan or Kentucky or FedEx anything like can that. can bring it to them, though. Yeah, FedEx, there FedEx, you UPS, or Priority Mail. Bring it right to your house. Right to the door. Whatever you want. You, uh, I'm done promoting, Clay. If you're, if you're done, yeah. let me plug one more thing. One more thing. One, one more thing. thing. This is new to the market, too. This is the uh, spark plug set from VIM. Mm -hmm. Super great company, man. This company right here is going all the way out and uh, really, really, really taking over the market. So you guys work on BMWs, you're gonna need that 12 point, super shallow, thin socket. Every now and then you might work on a Dodge where you're gonna need the wobble sockets, but a 13, 16, 5 8 and a 14 millimeter all come in these sets and they give you the deep wells for your Ford Triton engines. So your 5.4 your 5.4 motors. 100, what are these posted for, Connor? $129? Uh, 119. No, they're 129. 129. They're 129 on our website. Awesome set of master spark plug sockets. They're in stock. We sell a bunch of them. I think we bought them. I think we bought a slew of them from MTN and uh, had them delivered to the house. And now we're, uh, you know, we're buying. It's all about how you buy it. To well, be honest Drew with you wasn't too. here a while ago when you guys accepted the oh. TikTok challenge. Oh, okay. So I want to make sure everybody understands the rules, okay? So we'll do a TikTok here in a few minutes with Matt Sledge. TikTok. Tick, text choice tools, TikTok. And I said, if everybody here, if a hundred people goes to that page and put at Coon Trucking sent me, you guys, all three of y'all will do a beer chug like Luke Combs where you poke your thumb through the side of the can, turn it up and pop the top. Drew drinks White Claws, though. Is that okay? I don't care. White Claws what a, what, or uh, hey, what's the other? When a guy's Drew Drew's. size and got those arms, like if Drew wants to drink grapefruit juice yeah. and chug it, hey, man, I ain't arguing with Drew. Hey, let me tell you what's something cool about having an assistant, what I was talking about earlier. Drew used to be my assistant, and then he worked his way into his own truck. Well, we were out doing some repos, and I kind of got into it with a guy. And Drew, you know, he's this big old kind of muscle kind of guy. Well, he comes out around the corner of the truck and he's like, hey man, we're gonna F you up, you know, if you try to start any shit. So, if you're a measly little skinny tool guy, get you an assistant that's bigger than you because they always got your back. And I can't say nothing bad about Connor either. We were at yeah. a place one time and Connor, Connor's Connor was not, ready to Connor's scrap not too. A, he's not a little guy. No, 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 he's, he's got a lot of muscle underneath all that, uh, underneath all that jacket, so. Uh, and if you guys follow Drew on Instagram, y'all see Drew's other hobby. Like I promise That's you, where I came from. That's on that is late. that is the last last guy. No, okay. you don't want to mess with him. You just want to make sure that guy's on your side. Let me just leave it at that. Right. Yeah. But anyway, guys, that's the video today. Like I said, these guys wanted to learn how to drink beer, and they brought me up here from Mississippi. <laughs> so we're fixing to have beer drinking one on one class in Nashville, Tennessee. His shirt will definitely not be that pressed when we leave the bar. Tonight. I'm not wearing this shirt, Clay. I'm off work when I go hang out with you, okay? I'm just okay. saying. I'm going to take that uh, well, funnel, buddy. When we buddy. do the beer chugging contest or the beer chugging challenge, you got to have that clean pressed shirt on because, like, I want to see that thing just dripping with Miller Lite. I got twisted tea here, Coors, for you, Drew. Coors or whatever. All right, guys, like always, thanks for hanging out with us. We're going to drink some cold beer, which is my most favorite hobby in the entire world. <laughs> Nothing else is better than that. Like always, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down here. Click that subscribe button. Check out Text Choice on TikTok, TikTok. and Instagram. Y'all have a great one. See ya.